Searching for justice, today marked seven months since a local father of three was shot to death in a Sherwood Forest home. Darnell Wilson Sr.'s killer has not been arrested. Today, his family gathered near the home of Roanoke Boulevard, just off of Sebald Road. They were joined by the anti-violence group Mandats. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding shares their plea for answers. Melanie's Wilson is a Gators fan, but today she's decked out in Florida State gear. And I have my watch, the same color, shoes. He loved Nikes and tennis shoes and things like that. So this is in I memory of her brother, today. Darnell Wilson. He was murdered seven months ago today. For myself, sleepless nights, um, crying, anger, frustration, want to lash out at whoever it was. Um, as far as my family, his children, they're taking it hard. And this is a look at the home where Darnell Wilson was found shot and killed earlier this year. His family says life has been so hard without him, especially for his children. Wilson was a father of three. Today, two of them gathered with family and organizers with the group Mad Dads. Y'all just, just give us a call if you need anything, okay? In hopes of spreading the word about his death and finding who was responsible. His children say their dad was the ultimate supporter. He provided for a lot of people. And you, if you needed something done, he was always there. Oh, yeah, I've been playing football since I was five years old. And he's always been the first one to practice, after practice, at the games. Even when I played high school, we had games in Lakeland, Florida. He was always the first to travel there and be the last one to travel back. So, As the family reflects on good memories, they also have a heartfelt plea for those with information. Just speak, uh, tell what you know. It may not, may not be true, but if you hear something, please report it. Let's get closure. You don't want this to be you standing where I'm at in my shoes. Getting justice for a man loved by many whose life was taken too soon. In Jacksonville, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.